this one is going to be really special i think one of the first reviews that you will see of a motorcycle the kawasaki versus in ladakh hi guys welcome back to the channel for another video today i decided to share with you my ownership experience with the versus 650 the bike that I've owned for the past two years and have done almost 19,000 kilometers in different terrains. So instead of doing this review in the most conventional way that you have seen in all the videos, let's not do this review in the city. Let's not do this review on a conventional hill station, but let's do this review in Ladakh. Let's go. The Kawasaki versus in Ladakh. I think I have earned the right to review it now since I have ridden it in diverse terrains and I have clocked the 13,340 kilometers at the time when I was making this purchase uh, May 2017 Versailles was the only option I was really attracted to the Versailles uh, the Versailles matte black color it gives that sort of a Batman Dark Knight sort of a feel which I really like so I test rode the motorcycle immediately after riding the Benelli uh, I could feel the difference in the punch of this twin cylinder 650cc motor. If you talk about the mileage of this machine, normally I get a mileage of about 21 to 22 kilometers per liter on the hills and on the plains I'm getting anything between 24. In terms of maintenance, uh, Kawasaki has a decent sort of a service policy which I am really happy with as of now the service interval for the Kawasaki Versus is 6000 kilometers or 6 months which is quite decent. The first service I remember costed me about 3000 rupees. The second service uh, costed me about I think 7200 rupees. 7200 included the cost of the air filter which was changed on the second service. The third service that I got done just before coming to the trip of Ladakh uh, costed me about uh, I think 4200 4200 for a 650 cc motorcycle every six months I think you would really really be happy with that next uh, let me talk about the rideability of this motorcycle I have tackled shitty roads on the Versailles by saddling on it standing on the machine using my legs as additional shock absorber along with the long travel suspension having fun on those roads only thing that you have to keep in mind if you are doing some sort of heavy off-roading with those pebbles and big potholes is that this machine does not come with spoke wheels from a long touring perspective the machine is great the riding triangle is great your elbows are always relaxed your back is always straight until unless you decide to slouch down on long travel days the machine has everything custom built for traveling thousand kilometers a day for example uh, on my first day i clocked 720 kilometers I started about 5 p.m. from Greater Noida and reached Patni Top, which is 720 kilometers next day at 7 a.m. and I was reasonably comfortable. The windshield that is there in front of me provides decent pr protection till the chest area. We have reached Tangste here and I'll just wait for about 15 minutes to take, take a break before I start my climb to Changla. So since I have stopped, let me show you around the machine. This has a long travel suspension here which is very helpful on those potholes. This has really been a boom for me in this region because I have been able to tackle very bad patches of road very easily. You get uh, two petal disc brakes which are very effective, the bite is very good and I am using the stock brake pads that come with the Kawasaki and they have performed really well. Just some facts for you, I have done 13,000 kilometers on this machine and the brake pads still have a lot of life in them. If you see on the back in terms of suspension you have this totally adjustable suspension which has the soft and hard settings, 27 clicks here so you can customize the suspension hardness and softness according to the weight on the motorcycle. The speed Speedometer is quite basic, a mix of digital and analog. If I just switch it on for you, 1815.6 kilometers for this trip. I have done 13,356 kilometers since purchasing this machine. Showing the time, the trip, trip meters, and the mileage that I've got till now. Let me just run through what all accessories I have put on this machine as of now. First of all, uh, 
I got a lot of accessories from a guy in Bangalore who manufactures accessories specifically for the verses. I got multiple accessories. I got this front disc brake protectors. I got the handlebar risers. If you can see, 55 mm handlebar risers that improve the riding triangle when you are standing up, tackling difficult roads. Then I got saddle stays rear disc brake and rear axle protectors the alu sort of aluminium stand on which i mount my shag top box i got a crash guard from zana motorcycles in delhi uh, you can reach out to them and they make pretty good crash guards i'm pretty happy with it right now i installed the gold runway i think 40 watt uh, aux lights and i bought them from aliexpress then i bought this go cruise throttle which i use on long tours then i've put on this bolt mobile charger which has been working out pretty well the mobile goes on the ram mount that i bought i bought the ram mount for about 4500 rupees i decided to invest in a good quality mount because i previously used a 350 450 rupees mount from karol bag and that just flew off almost i lost my phone there this mount has been put on this sort of a rod that i got again from zana motorcycles this is for about thousand bucks the reason i wanted to mount my mobile here was that i wanted everything to be in my line of sight i didn't want it to look left or right while riding the motorcycle yeah one thing left i got this switch installed here for my aux lights i'll do a separate review on the aux lights i have not got anything extra as in anything that adds to the fanciness of the motorcycle till now whatever i have added till now is all functional the exhaust of the versace is pretty simple it is centrally mounted you know it helps in balancing this heavy machine it's about 210 kgs dry couple that with a 20 liter fuel tank that gives you a range of about 400 410 kilometers so all that weight is very is very well managed with this exhaust as well this it really complements it on my way to uh, karu today and i'll be crossing changla changla is somewhere up there i think this mountain you see that snow covered peak that is changla 17800 feet and on that road I'll be giving you sort of a live demonstration as you may call it on how the Versace performs on bad roads. See these bad patches, I'm just trying to maintain a decent amount of throttle and clutch play and I'm all fine. I'm just saddling right now, no issues, everything is being soaked up by the long travel suspension and some part of the impact is also being soaked up by my quads coming to the heating aspect of this motorcycle it is one major thing that really keeps me happy because i have also ridden uh, lower cc performance motorcycles if you are watching this video when you ride a duke 390 or an rc 390 right those things heat up like anything but the versus it doesn't heat up that much Rarely do I get uncomfortable. I'm not talking about the Ladakh region right now where I'm riding. I'm talking about Delhi NCR traffic as well, bumper to bumper traffic. And the radiator fan sound is also not that much. So you can really rely on the brakes here. Twin disc setup in the front is very you know predictable. You always know how what will be your braking distance, how you can brake, and the safety net of ABS always comes in handy. In terms of uh, outright performance. I really feel the torque is very good on this machine specifically if you are riding in hills and all you will really enjoy the oodles of torque that you get lower rev ranges I am always in the second or third gear even on hairpin bends outright power and you know top end I have not tested it out much I have reached speeds of 170-175 in Delhi NCR on one of those expressways but that is not something that I really bought this bike for this you see is a gravel route that I wanted to take and show you how the Versace handles. Try to enjoy it. I am up on the saddle here and that's how the Versace handles on gravel. That I am not on the stock tires that the Versace comes with. I am, I am using the Pirelli MT60 RS tires which provide much better grip than the stock tires. I have been very happy with them. by no means a typical off-road machine but it can get the job done I'm half standing, knees bent thighs stuck in the tank you just saw that right 
and going up this relatively sandy area. Potholes again. <laughs> So this is another gravel filled dusty section that is being made into a road on the descent from Changla and here is why I say that the Versailles should have switchable ABS because I can't just apply any of the brakes here because I'm constantly constantly getting that pulsing sensation of ABS kicking in on the front lever I'm not even trying to use the rear brake here little tricky section because I just can't go anything above 20 right now I'm doing 15 17 and the main idea here is to just be down this section without a fall so I'm taking it very very slow here all thanks to the engine braking because as soon as I attach any of the levers the EBS kicks in my cell phone almost fell from this mobile mount this amount of dust after the purity of the mountains is totally intolerable for me and these trucks are creating a havoc by spewing out all the dust that they can through their heavy tires i don't know when this patch will end So I've stopped over here to see this view and one more thing that I really wanted to point out during this trip I have reached altitudes in the range of 18,000 feet as you know I went through Khardung like the fuel injection in the Versace is pretty good I haven't faced any sort of issue in terms of it struggling for oxygen at higher altitudes and trust me guys you're not going to pull anything above 18,000 feet right I've done Khardung law on this and no issues at all so while I talked about a lot of good points with the Versace 650, there are some areas where the machine definitely needs some improvement. First, a seat height of 840 mm, even for a 6 feet tall guy like me, is too much to handle. Combine that seat height with a weight of 235 kgs when the machine has a full tank and it's a tough proposition. On surfaces which are not even, you often end up in situations where one of your feet is grounded and your other feet is up in the air you cannot flat foot the motorcycle reducing the seat height to about 810 mm that would be great and would solve a lot of problems second please get us a version of the Versace 650 where you have spoked tubeless tires I mean although the Versace 650 is not a proper off-roader all the Versace owners really like to explore different places just because of the fact that the machine is so versatile and all the ergonomics to stand up on the foot peg and do some sort of mild off-roading. So if Kawasaki comes up with a version where it gives us a 19 inch front wheel with spoke tubeless tire, that would be a game changer and then the Versace 650 could give a strong competition to the Suzuki V-Storm 650. Other than that, I think the Versace as a complete package is a great machine but if i was in the market right now to buy an adventure tourer in the seven to eight lakh category then i would definitely put my money on the v-storm 650. it gives you all that you need as all those features and ergonomics that the versace 650 offers and more it has a 19 inch front wheel with the spoke tubeless tires it has a longer wheel base it has traction control it has riding modes and it has a swept up exhaust as well which really adds to the character of a motorcycle so that's it from my side hope you like this video and you got some great insights about the Versace 650 if you like what you saw give this video a like and subscribe to this channel till next time bye bye